Hey folks, I'm Troy and you're watching Troy Tube. Yesterday I did a video on how to get around an auto flow text message. It was not allowing an SVG import into Design Space. Today I had another user reach out to me with the same issue, a little bit different condition, so we'll take a look at that. So this time the user took a look at their SVG uh, like the one the video that I did yesterday and their design did not contain an actual text element it was more of that erroneous error that I was talking about where it has something embedded in the SVG file and uh, you know there's no text elements everything's a path but there's just something embedded in there that's causing that auto flow text message to, to come up in design space and uh, then it stops it won't import won't go past that so we'll switch over to the computer and I'll show you the easy workaround to get around this. Here's the design this particular user is having an issue with and when I select the design you'll see in this case it's uh, there is no text elements involved and if I go to view display mode outline you'll see that everything is a path so there are no issues there it is just that there is something embedded in the SVG file that is throwing that auto text error and we have to get that out of there so what happens in design space when you try to upload this file is that it gets to this point and it gives the auto flow text ask if you want to import anyway you hit continue and then it just kind of sits here it doesn't go anywhere it's not really frozen it's just it's paused it doesn't allow you to go anywhere beyond this point so you can cancel that now the fix for this is really quite easy uh, I'm going to bring my design into Inkscape now I'm going to ungroup it so I'm going to hit Control shift G several times make sure everything is ungrouped uh, the reason for this is when you save an SVG in Inkscape it groups everything one time so you don't want to have anything grouped it will end up with groupings within a group which can cause some problems in design space so then I'm just going to highlight everything and I'm going to copy I'm hitting Control C or you could right click and hit copy and I'm going to go to a new window, File, New, open a new Inkscape window and paste it. Now it's very important that your design is located inside this box so that the uh, document properties are there and they're visible. And we're going to save this. And I'll save this as version 2 of the file and I'll save it as a plain SVG once again. And we'll go back into Design Space and go to Upload and we'll drag and drop the new SVG file in there and it comes right in clean with no issues and we can insert that into our design canvas and then we have all of our layers and if we want we can ungroup it and everything is just fine after that so there you have the other situation with the auto flow text message with importing an SVG into Design Space. So the video I did yesterday, the SVG file had an actual text element in the design that we were able to see and delete using Inkscape. This time we had the situation that I described in that video where you have an SVG file that just has something embedded in it that you can't see that causes that error to come up. Now I suggest, or I, you know, what I suspect causes that is an older version of Inkscape that maybe had a bug in it or something that would save some information that didn't need to be there and it just caused those erroneous messages to pop up in previous versions of, the, of design space uh, it would just kind of import it you hit OK import it and everything was fine it just ignored it um, apparently with the current version with the latest update there is a bug somewhere where if you get that message it will not import the SVG regardless if there's really a text element or just something anything that makes that message pop up I made a post and reported that to the Cricut uh, dev team uh, for the software development team so hopefully you will see that maybe it's already been you know it may, may already be a known issue I don't know but um, you know those are uh, little nuances with SVG files you know an SVG file is just a uh, you know it's a text file so if you were to open it up it's not like a JPEG or a PNG where it's an actual image if you open an SVG in something like notepad that's a, t a text editor you'll see that it's what's called an XML file it's code uh, they're basically mathematical equations that tell the system the uh, lines, the paths, you know, the angles, the arcs, and, and all those things it's above my head. Um, but, uh, you know, they're, they're not image files. And that's why they can be so much smaller. So if you have a design, 
they can be, you know, literally a fraction of the size of an actual image file uh, of the same thing if it was a PNG or JPEG. So thank you, Sandra, for sending that in and uh, allowing me to make this video using your design you were having that problem with. And uh, hopefully this will help some folks up out, uh, out there. I was using Inkscape 1.1... Let's say it was 1.1.1, .1 I think, is the, the version I'm using, which I think is the current version that's out there. So hopefully that's been helpful to you. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, post them down below the video.